Dr. Bostic, President Bostic, with degrees from Harvard, degrees from Stanford. Tell us what's going on. People are so confused. Is this is this a recession? Is this a strong growth? Where are we? Use all of your acumen, everything you've got to help us figure out what's going on. Well, first of all, good morning, Steve. It's good to see you as always. It's good to be on the show. Uh, for me, the, my first takeaway is that this report just reaffirms that the economy is strong and there, there is still a lot of momentum uh, in the labor market. Uh, and that is uh, a good thing. I think unambiguously, uh, what we need to see are people still feeling like they can get jobs, they can have uh, strong incomes. Uh, but the other thing that I think is really an important takeaway for me is that uh, the economy is starting to slow. We're starting to see those first signs of slowdown, uh, which is uh, what we need, because uh, what we have right now is a great imbalance between supply and demand that's driving the inflation that we're seeing. And if we're going to get that inflation under control, one of the meta pictures we've got to start to have happen is that demand and supply have got to move together. So uh, I think some of the numbers that we're seeing today suggest that that is happening, and that's a positive sign. I know it's only been a few minutes, but when you look at what we learned from this report about the supply and demand for labor, do you see them coming more into balance or less into balance? Does it make you more or less concerned about the potential for wage-driven inflation? Maybe slightly less concerned, but only slightly. You know, th these numbers, much like uh, what I'm hearing across the 6th District, uh, really suggest that we are starting to see signs of slowing, but they're really just uh, minor signs. And what we're going to have to see and what I'm going to be looking for over the next several months are, are, is evidence that that slowing is becoming much more uh, sustained and much more significant across the board. Uh, so we're starting to inch in the right direction, but there's still a lot more to do and there's a lot more we're going to have to see if, if we're going to get our, our inflation numbers much closer to the 2% target that we have as our goal. Let's talk about what needs to be done here. Uh, uh, something of a debate. I think the market has settled on a 75 basis point increase coming from the Federal Reserve in July. Where do you stand on that? I'm fully supportive of moving 75 basis points. You know, when I, when I, last time I was on this show with you, um, you know, I, I talked about how what I was looking for through the course of the first part of this year was month-to-month -month inflation numbers starting to move significantly down, which would suggest that we were starting to see trends consistent with moving back to the 2% uh, inflation level. Well, that didn't happen. You guys report on this every, every day and every month. And, and in fact, by some estimates, uh, things have just not changed at all. And that really re re required me to adapt my view about where appropriate policy was going to be and move us to a place where we needed to move more aggressively. I think if you look at the last FOMC meeting, that's exactly what happened. The data came in uh, not as positive in terms of moving inflation down, and we adjusted our stance and our approach. Uh, that's the course that we're going to take moving forward, uh, but the tremendous uh, uh, momentum in the economy to me suggests that uh, we can move at 75 basis points at the next meeting and not see a lot of uh, protracted damage to the, to the broader economy.